Did you concede yes you, or no? Do you think it was fairly obvious that I was doing so in a sarcastic way to advance oh! the conversation? Oh! So wait if a minute! Like, so wait a minute! Like, That's right! That's right! So the first question I have for you is, can you point to me any of your tweets or any of your videos that you've done talking about the claims from these family members? I didn't talk about that. You didn't talk about it? No. Okay, but you were heavily interested in talking about how Trump disrespected the soldiers, correct? Yeah. So yeah. That, would you say that a reasonable interpretation from the people listening to you then could be that you're full of shit and you don't actually care about disrespecting family members of fallen soldiers because you didn't even bother to talk about what these particular families themselves have talked about? Sure. I mean, if you want to go with that, that's fine. But so I you mean, acknowledge you it. Any, you acknowledge it. I mean, if that's. If that's what you think, then that's fine. No, but no, no. It's you, not what you, I think. It's what I'm no, no, asking. No, no, no. You ask me. You. Okay, you, God. You, you, no, I'm, I'm asking for your inter You can't just say sure and then say if that's what you think. If that's not what I think, then please give me a defense. Give me a reason. So, so I, I'm trying to understand your logic here. Yes. So you're saying that if, if I have not tweeted about these particular families, then I couldn't possibly care about. Uh, like rules at Arlington. That's what you're saying, right? I'm saying that your concern of the rules in Arlington are, you correct me if I'm wrong, that it is disrespectful to dead soldiers and their families, correct? Yeah. That's, okay. Yes. If yes. you really cared about the thoughts and feelings of dead soldiers and their families, and it's these aren't random families that we're talking about. We're literally talking about the families and their statements of the event that you're criticizing and what they have said. If you really cared about disparaging family members of fallen soldiers, surely you would have breathed anything on this. And yet you haven't. Why? Rob, so there were there were four soldiers that were ambushed and killed in Niger in, in 2017. There was one Gold Star family who uh, spoke to their experience when Trump called them. He said that he, he uh, they said that he told her, well, your husband knew the risks before he got involved and that he didn't even mention the soldier's name. Did you say anything about that when it happened? No, I don't remember also going to X and complaining when I saw footage of Arlington when Barack Obama or Joe Biden were there, <laughs> Biden himself using footage of him in Arlington for a campaign. I didn't stand and say, oh my God, how disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. You're the person making the affirmative claim, as is Kamala Harris's <laughs> family. Okay. Let me finish. As in this media okay. and Kamala Harris's campaign, that are saying Trump's disrespectful of soldiers because of this event and this event that he was invited to the very fallen soldiers, they haven't given two shits, yourself included, as to what their feelings were. Not at all. So the idea that if you would just admit, yeah, you're right, I actually don't give a shit what these people say. I don't give Rob. a shit about falling soldiers. I only give a shit about using this as an attack against Donald Trump. Then we could move on to your line of questioning. Rob, one of my best friends from high school, his name was Tim Shea. He, he was killed in Iraq in... 2004, I believe. I do care about dead soldiers. It's a terrible thing when it happens. Then why haven't you covered what these families let's, have talked about? Let's, let's, let's skip with this. Let's get to the particulars of why what Trump did was wrong. Can we do that? No, we can't. Because your ultimate conclusion of why I, what I, he did... I, I, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll listen. tell you... I'll tell you why I we can't concede. because... I'll tell you why we can't because you've concede already whatever, conceded... I will concede. Uh, no, I will no, no, concede whatever you want me to concede. Can we move on to the next thing? No. Because this well, conce I, I'm because you. I no, you're not I conceding. You're not conceding. Okay, I, I just want you. I just want you. You concede in this framework, and then we can move on. You say right now, I Hutch literally do not give a shit about fallen soldiers or about these families. I don't give a shit. I only care about this for partisan politics. No, 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 no. Not if it helps. That, that, no, no, not if it helps. You can say. You can say. I'm gonna let you say your piece here for a couple minutes now, and then I'm gonna tell you why we can't. Just just move on. So you go ahead and filibuster and say your piece of what you want, and then I can tell you why that's bullshit. Go for it. Okay. Are we are we at the point where I can talk about like why what Trump did was bad? You can talk about what you want for one minute, and then I'm going to talk about why we can't move on and what you're saying is bullshit. You're on are the you clock. Gonna, go ahead. Wait, you wait, got wait, a minute. Are, are you not going to address the substance of anything I say? Are you going to let me explain why I'm not going to? What what is what are we doing here, Rob? 
you called into my show because I was making the point that you don't give a shit about these fall these families of fallen soldiers. Instead, you're politically grandstanding. And then you oh. come on and sarcastically say, yeah, 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 I'll concede whatever you want. You're right. I didn't talk about them. I'll concede for the sake of argument. You're now let's talk about what I want to talk about. You're assigning you're assigning something that doesn't apply to me. I don't That's tweet not true. about a lot of things. I, I don't tweet about a lot of things, Rob. That doesn't mean that I don't care about anything that I don't tweet about. I've never tweeted about, I think, like starvation in Africa. Do you think that I don't care that people starve in the world? If what, the, what, what, it is not. You what you're doing is incredible. what you're making. This is an incredibly flawed way. It of is not incredibly. Whether or not somebody cares about something. It is not incredibly flawed because these families are the particular families in the particular incident that we're talking about that you're saying proves that Trump disparages the families of fallen soldiers. And when these people what? specifically <laughs> say, actually, it's Kamala Harris, we wanted Trump there, and it's Kamala Harris that disparaged them, you haven't given a shit to even breathe one sentence on what these Listen, people have the said. And I'll finish by saying this. When you said the reason that the having this conversation about the rules matters is because ultimately these rules being broken by Trump proves that he doesn't care about the families of fallen soldiers and you won't even talk about the families in this particular incident not in some random incident that occurred in 2017 mm -hmm. or some random incident that occurred elsewhere but the specific incident that you're saying that proves that Trump doesn't care about fallen soldiers family and you won't even breathe a word and then worse you just sort of sarcastically go yeah yeah, yeah I'll concede whatever you want me to just so we can move to what because, I want to talk to. Because, you couldn't be more I, transparent I, I, that you don't give a shit. Don't you don't have, give a shit. Don't you don't position. give a shit. That's the point. You only care about using this as a weapon to attack Donald Trump, just like Kamala Harris, just like the mainstream media. You don't give a shit about these families. You don't care. You just want to weaponize going after Trump for breaking some sort of okay. rules violation that you weren't even aware of three weeks ago. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. Sure. Let's say there's a cemetery for fallen soldiers. Okay. Um, and let's say there's a fallen soldier, and this person was diehard MAGA, diehard, right? Okay. Loved Trump and was killed in Afghanistan or whatever. Would you be okay with uh, Joe Biden taking a selfie with that person's head, headstone visible in the selfie for a campaign photo? Would you be okay with that? Whether or not I would be okay is irrelevant to this specific situation, what though I will mean, answer it, though I will it. answer it, though I will answer it because it wouldn't prove, me being okay with it wouldn't prove whether or not the other side or the families had grievances about why Joe Biden himself or why Donald Trump himself was a piece of shit and directly did things that were far more offensive to the family. Now, what would I have said if Joe Biden did something like that? Nothing. In fact, I've long since taken the stance that both sides oftentimes take terrible tragedies and then put those people up as sort of gold star families or gold star i understand is just talking about military but um what do they call when an illegal the family of someone who's died of an illegal immigrant angel angel moms is that the term they use yeah i've well, said that's a republican side i've said many many times like listen i understand the political importance of that and i understand how powerful that message could be but i also understand that a lot of it's emotional and i don't usually weigh in on a lot of those things what makes this okay. case uniquely different is this so i wouldn't have if trump biden had done that before i'd have probably been more time talking about how he had dementia and it's being covered up by people like you and the mainstream media how he was a Wait, disaster for the economy how he was i'm not pivoting i'm telling you you're acting like oh if biden did something if he posed in front of things at arlington and used it for his campaign you would have flipped out i wouldn't have in fact isn't it true that biden used photos of him at arlington in a campaign ad in memorial day of 2020 can you go back and find any video of mine or any tweet of mine criticizing that can you do that rob I'm, oh, you I'm can't? You, you can't? You agree. Can, wait, let me speak, for Christ's sake. Uh, everybody, like, listen, so many people in the left-wing space say that you're reasonable. Can That's because they're reasonable. Smart. Can we have a reasonable discussion without you, like, you keep interrupting me and pivoting to things that don't matter? How does that not matter? Right. So the rule, the rule at Arlington Cemetery, especially in Section 60, which is a spot where recent deaths go, the rule is that they assign their own photographer to make sure that instances like what happened with Trump don't happen, where someone's headstone who didn't ask to be involved in any kind of like political uh, ad or photo or whatever, to make sure that those fallen soldiers are not against their will at, uh, uh, used in that kind of way. Do you understand like why that rule exists? Would you agree that that's a good rule? 
I would say that it's a role that's equally as important as aren't there rules that also say that you can't give political speeches in front of uniform members? Isn't that true? There's a rule, I believe, that says that. I, I don't know the particulars of that rule. Can we focus on okay, this that, rule? What I'm saying is can we that you can, can say, uh, right, what I'm rule? telling you is, I'm telling you in the past, it seems that things similar to that rule have been violated and with campaign ads, which I didn't say a peep about, which shows that your hypothetical, if this happened, you would freak out, is untrue because I didn't in 2020. Whether or not, not this rule, uh, let out. me finish, I'm, I'm answering. What, whether or not this particular rule is something that'd be necessary, I don't know, I'd have to think there could be particulars where I would think that maybe it wouldn't apply, maybe it should apply, whatever. I don't think necessarily it's a very important thing. I think the fact that we see that these families are talking about far more grievous specific things that have been done by the opponents that are being ignored by not just the Kamala Harris campaign, but the media and you shows that you don't actually give a shit about any of this. I'm asking you without pivoting. Can you? I'm not pivoting. Not pivot? I just can you, did. I did. I please, did. Wait, I wait, include wait, in there. No, no, let me let me ask. Let me ask the question. Let me ask mm -hmm. the question. Do you not agree that it would be a good rule, generally speaking, to make sure that you don't feature the headstone of some soldier who didn't ask to be a part of anything campaign related? Do you not agree that this would be a generally good rule to make sure that the grave sites of fallen soldiers are not disrespected? Okay, I'll repeat the answer. You're incapable of hearing, so I'll repeat the answer. In general, can you I could do it see like a, I, I could do it in the way that I feel like doing. In general, I would say I'm not going to listen to your demands as someone who transparently has already conceded that you don't give a shit about the fallen soldiers or about these particular families. You conceded, as you admitted. That's a pretty foul Hutch thing conceded. To Hutch, Hutch That's conceded. a pretty foul thing to suggest. Right, and you conceded it. You conceded it. I That's it. what you said. I did it for the purpose of Oh, the you conceded. Fine. You conceded. To, fine. To so you conceded. So Hodge has listen, conceded. Yeah, me. a simple yes or no. Listen, I'll answer your question. Listen, Rob, I'll answer Rob. your question with a simple yes or no if you answer mine with a simple it's yes a, or no. It's a false Fair enough. Thing to Fair enough. Don't, I'll don't accuse me of that. That's so You bad. conceded. You, know you conceded it, Hutch. You conceded it. Yes or no? You're did playing, you concede that? You're playing games right now. Yes or no? Did you concede that? I have lost. I have lost a best friend. He was one of my best friends. That's not the question. A simple yes or no. Don't pivot. Don't pivot. Don't pivot. A simple yes or no. Why are you pivoting? You're pivoting. Why are you pivoting? A simple yes or no. Did you concede that you don't give a shit about these particular fam families? Let me say plainly. Did you concede yes or no? Did you concede yes or no? Did you let concede me, yes say, or no? I would like you to answer yes or no, and then you can expound. Uh, did you concede? To, Hutch, did you concede? Why are you pivoting? Why are you pivoting? Your image Why are you pivoting? Humiliating I don't need yourself. After humiliating yourself with the AI debacle. More pivoting. This More not, pivoting. A simple yes or no. I, you I get, accused me. A simple yes or no. Did you concede? Did you concede? To a simple yes or no. Did you concede that you didn't give a shit about these particular families that of these fallen I, soldiers? Did you concede yes was, or no? Did you concede you, yes or no? Do you think it was fairly obvious do you that I was doing so in a sarcastic way to advance oh, the conversation? So wait if a minute. So if wait a minute. Like, that's right. That's right. If now, would, does the audience like, see? Do you like, see? Do you, you see like. what happens? Do you see exactly as I said? So this is what Hutch did. So the entire point of me doing this topic tonight was that people like Hutch don't give a shit about these soldiers, these families. Kamala Harris doesn't give a shit. The media doesn't give a shit. And instead, they just want to pivot to talk about the real, the real divine So he comes on and says, sure, I'll concede. Really but let me finish. He comes on and says, sure, I'll concede so we can talk about what I want to talk about, which is what they Why always do. Really they exist. have to control the narrative. They can't talk about things unless they're controlling what's done. So I'm like, no, we can't just move on because you're being sarcastic. You're not really conceding. You're like, yeah, 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 I'll concede. Then when pressed on the like, fact that you concede, you, you literally do exactly what I said you would do is say, it's clear Bro, that I was being sarcastic and I was... Out. I'm can not you, sparking out. I'm putting. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm breathing just breath. fine. Hutch, don't talk to me like a fourth grader that you want to teach to masturbate. Bro, I know how to breathe. You're screaming. Can you tell everyone? Can you tell everyone we're again? Since we're pivoting. Since we're pivoting, can you tell everyone again about how it gets you off to want to talk to fourth graders about masturbating? Can you tell us about that again? Bro, you. Go ahead. What is wrong with Go ahead. you, Rob? Hutch, yes or no? Do you think we should teach fourth graders about masturbation? Ten year olds. I think it's fine to teach fourth grade thank about you. masturbation. Thank you. Rob. Right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So, so given that, you don't have to talk to me like those fourth graders. I know when to breathe. I'm doing just <laughs> fine. 
Go oh. ahead. So you conceded that you didn't give a shit about these families okay, listen, facetiously listen, listen, because you didn't want to talk about the families. You didn't okay, want to I, talk about. So think about I, this. When, when you had, when, when, as soon as I finish with this point, when you had a chance okay. to finally direct to address what these family members are saying, instead you said, "I'll just joke and say, sure, sure, I concede, so I don't have to talk about what they said." Further proving your callousness and not giving a shit about the families of fallen soldiers, because you still even here when you had a chance to address it said, "I don't want to talk about that. I just want to talk about the." rules which was exactly my criticism of you and people sure. like kamala harris okay i would like to clarify my position when it comes to the families of fallen soldiers mm -hmm. i think that those people who lost loved ones in afghanistan during that pullout were obviously devastated and those are american citizens they have every right to have political preferences they had every right to invite donald trump to come and visit those gravestones there's nothing wrong with that. I don't begrudge them for that. I feel terrible for their loss. I know what it's like to lose someone really close to you in war. It's horrible. It's a horrible kind of grief. I have no judgment of those families whatsoever. And if they want to denounce Kamala, if they want to blame Biden, if they want to prop up Trump, that's their right to do that. And I, I, I have no ill will toward, towards those people. Do you accept that clarification? No, I don't accept that clarification because you haven't directly responded. Are you voting for Kamala Harris? Of course. Okay, you haven't directly responded what they're saying about the disparagement that they received and the ill treatment that they've received specifically from Kamala Harris and Joe Biden and this administration. Of course you're right on superficial level that when it comes to someone's son dying, you wouldn't disparage them, or daughter, you wouldn't disparage them to blame the administration in charge, of course, even if objectively no. they weren't at fault. I understand that. What we're talking about is something more. We're talking about not only are they blaming, which could be right or wrong, which is obviously right in this case because of the buffoonish way that the police lot occurred but we're talking about the fact that they've since been treated like shit in their own words by both biden and harris and this particular event where the people where trump showed up that's being used by you by the mainstream media and by kamala harris's team to say ah uh, this incident itself proves that trump doesn't give a shit about the families of fallen soldiers while completely ignoring what the people that invited him there said about his opponents shows that you really don't give a shit about fallen soldiers. You only care about it insofar Rob. as it helps advance your political narrative. You don't Rob. give a shit about what they said about Kamala Harris or addressing it. You're talking superficially. Of course, any family can say what they want about any candidate, but you haven't addressed the fact that they're saying Kamala Harris is using this as a campaign issue, saying that she cares about fallen soldiers when that's a blatant lie. She has not even reached out to these people, not once, hasn't even said their names. And it's called it a is success. It, Rob, I not only not disparage these families, I empathize with that kind of grief. I understand that kind of grief. So when I'm telling you this, it's not superficial. I'm not lying to you. I'm not bullshitting. The pain that they must have experienced, I'm sure, was terrible. That's a pivot to what I just mm -hmm. said. I just, I giving, just explained, clear, clear, I just explained, me, no. you accuse me of not caring about these people. That pain, is not, that is wrong. not, I just explained to you. I just said, of course, when we're talking superficially about people's heartbreak of their sons dying or their daughters dying, and they it's might tend to blame, but what I said is unique about this and it's different. And what you're not responding to is the treatment that they're claiming that they've received afterwards. Yes, we could say that, are you telling me right now that if this would have been the opposite way that had this been Kamala Harris showing up here and Trump these people had died the seventh year anniversary of people that died under Trump's watch and they invite Kamala she shows up and they're very happy that she's there and Trump's uh -huh. team makes a big story out of but she took pictures at Arlington right. one you're telling me you would have said absolutely no, that's no, no, no. terrible Kamala and second you would have said oh no, I don't no, no, give no. a shit what the people uh, I don't give a shit that the people are saying that Trump's garbage blah 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 they have the right to say what they want of course not you would it's be making about... it a huge issue and saying it's how dare Trump try to stand on the graves of these fallen soldiers whose families he was refusing to even contact how it's dare he it's not about it's not about the simple fact that they took a photograph. You can take photographs at Arlington. The reason why Arlington insists on them using their own like Department of Defense approved photographers is to make sure that the shots are framed in a way that doesn't involve some other dead so soldier. So for example, I told you, my friend that got killed, he was a die-hard Democrat. He came up with this fake group called the Democratic Bruise Crew. Like it was this whole thing. 
and he went off to fight in Iraq, and he got killed in a roadside bomb. I can tell you with 100% certainty, if his headstone was ever featured in a Trump TikTok, he would have been pissed. That is why these rules that, exist. That's fine. I Notice how that get, is a complete... Listen, listen. And, and, and hold on. Let me just say one more... Hold on. Just one more thing, Rob. You presented the hypothetical if Kamala came and, and took photos and that sort of thing. If this hypothetical happened, right? If Kamala took photos and, and she featured the headstone of a, a diehard MAGA soldier that died, and then that person's family said how like this is wrong but that's not the involved. that's not an analogous what, situation what, that's what, not happening right now it's, it's oh it's you're pivoting off one, the analogy Rob. you're pivoting off the analogy to make another analogy because you're wait, refusing to answer I, my hypothetical. wait no i'm trying to I'm, I'm laying i'm laying out the exact same situation no you're not if, i if asked you a hypothetical members, instead listen, of listen, answering you're like the, well what the, about the, this no, no, hypothetical? Wait, wait, wait. Let's just let's just make it exactly one to one. If the okay. family, if the families of multiple service members invited Kamala mm -hmm. to come to Arlington mm -hmm. and 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 do a ceremony of remembrance mm -hmm. for the fallen soldiers, and she showed up and she took, she insisted on her own staff taking these photos, mm -hmm. and in the, in one of those photos there was a headstone of like a MAGA person, and that person's family got upset. You're telling me right now you wouldn't empathize with that. No, I'd empathize with them. Can you show me? Can you show me the anti-maga person whose headstone was featured? What? You you're saying in your direct hypothetical that if there was a headstone featured of a Kamala that was a, of Kamala's photo op that was a maga person, could I sympathize yeah. with that maga person's family? So that yeah, would imply yeah, yeah. that would imply if this is a direct analogy that right now you're saying there was an anti-maga person whose headstone was featured in the pictures oh. that Trump used. Oh, I understand the confusion. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm 100% sure that this person is MAGA, but there was uh, the family. Are you just unaware? There was a family member of someone whose headstone was featured in a Trump TikTok. And that family member has made a public statement saying that they're disappointed that their loved one was included in a Trump ad. Now, I don't know if they're anti-MAGA. They could be apolitical. They could be a Republican. But there is, Maybe it's I'm unaware. You are saying there is a person that's came out and said, that headstone right there was my son's, my daughter's. I don't want it used in a political ad. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 that's what I'm asking. I'm, yeah, I sympathize with that person, absolutely. Do I think that it's a huge deal? No. I, don't, I think that a far bigger wait, 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 deal. You, uh, now wait, I'll wait, finish. Wait, wait, wait. I answer. Notice how. Notice how, notice how I answer. Notice how I. Notice how I directly. Soldiers. Notice how I directly answer your hypotheticals. Right, go, go and on, you and, and then and then you insist that you then get to read. No, I answered okay, your ahead, hypothetical. Now I'll expound. By the way, I have to leave at 10 p.m. because I have a prior engagement. So uh, yeah, I would sympathize with that family. Absolutely. I think that that's a far less grievous deal and things like that occur many times anyways. For example, that could occur in a cemetery. It could have occurred in the Biden thing, right? It could be the fact that you're making it sound like, well, when Biden did these campaign ads, we don't know if it was directly in the section of Arlington where someone that recently died had been buried. So what? What if it's my great grandfather who was a vehement Republican that would be furious that the headstone that was shown in the Arlington Cemetery under Biden was his great grandfather's who would have hated Biden? Does that make it any less egregious? Does that mean that you would say, oh, you don't sympathize with that family? And secondly, that's still far less of a grievous situation than what these family members directly are talking about, which again, you have over and over and over pivoted. You have just said, of course, their family members died. I sympathize with that. Maybe they blame Biden. But what you haven't talked about is them saying the treatment they're receiving from Kamala Harris and Joe Biden is abysmal. And the fact that Kamala Harris is out there saying, I respect the families of fallen soldiers is a lie because she has treated them like shit and has ignored them. And you ignored it. And you ignored it not only in the fact that you haven't talked about it yet, even though you're hyper-focused on this specific situation, and doing videos and tweeting about it, but because you came in here and you callously, just, you callously came in here and deflected by saying, sure, sure, I'll concede. I don't no, give a shit about to them me, to avoid everything, to, to avoid everything you could. I'm you talking to, about what these, me. let me finish. I'll give you the last word to avoid everything you could of talking about these people said. You don't give a shit. You continue again to deflect. You haven't even once remotely tried to respond to the fact that we're not just talking about, yes, you're sympathetic 
that their sons died and maybe they blame Harris and Biden. You haven't responded to the fact that if we're going to talk about who's disparaging fallen soldiers, that these particular families say the treatment they've received is shit. And you callously try to lie and say, sure, sure, I concede to avoid talking about it because you don't give a fuck. You only care about fallen soldiers you, uh, insofar as it could benefit you going after the political uh, opposition that you don't care about. I'll give you the final word and then I have to leave. It has to be like two uh, minutes though because I got an engagement at I th Rob, I think it's rich that you're accusing me of not caring about the wishes and feelings of fallen soldiers when you just told me a moment ago that the family who spoke up and said that they didn't appreciate their son's headstone, headstone being featured in a Trump ad you said, oh, it's not that big of a deal. That is you literally saying, I don't give a fuck about the feeling of that person who spoke up. You are massively projecting right now. It's not. How is, that, how is me saying I absolutely projecting? How is that? How is that me saying I absolutely sympathize with that family member that's upset about that, which I honestly do? How is that me disparaging that family when I'm at many? Absolutely. You, said you don't think it's a big deal. I said I don't think it's you, as big of a Well, one, it's not that big of a deal. And second, it's nowhere near as big of a deal as specifically it's having these. It's not. Right, that is it's not. It's you not. It is not. saying that you don't care about their feelings or that no, their feelings don't. That is not me saying that I don't like, care about their feelings. Me saying that no, I would understand it. Is, on this particular thing that's they're bullshit that that's bullshit i appreciate their dead son that's i they sympathize absolutely absolutely, absolutely i think that absolutely absolutely i think that that's terrible i do i don't think it's near as big of a deal as so someone agree. no so i'll tell you, you no i'll tell you, so they, no, I'll tell you what i agree no i'll tell you what i agree go ahead rob rob so if you agree that that family had a right to be upset, then yep. you agree that those rules are in place for a good reason. I agree that those... avoid this thing happening. I'll go back to what I said begin, which you refuse to listen to, that yes, I absolutely think I could see a reason for those rules. I could see times that they wouldn't really apply. I don't think it's as near a big of deal as having a photo that could have something that you as a family member would say, hey, I don't really like that photo. That is on a completely different level than having the a disastrous a policy, let me finish, than having a disastrous policy that leads to the death of soldiers, then refusing to show up to, talk, to events about those soldiers, refusing to say their names, refusing to ever call them, and then putting campaign ads talking about this specific event with these families of these fallen soldiers saying that you care about the families of fallen soldiers and your opponent don't. I think that that is easily exponentially 10 times worse than what Donald Trump's accused of doing. And the fact that you and Kamala Harris refuse to talk about it and in fact want to come on and make jokes and be sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, I'll concede that I I, I, I feel their pain, whatever. Because you're you talk about it Further shows, further shows exactly what my criticism, really you have proven exactly what my criticism of you is, that you don't give a shit what these people said, that you just want to control Rob, the narrative to use this as a political point. That's it. Rob, That's what you, you Rob, exhibited you in this fucking Rob. Rob. All right, it's Rob, 10 o'clock, man. Go ahead. You got the last word. I got to go, though. There's, uh, there's still a minute left. It's not 6.59. You just That's what I just said. You gotta, ago. I got to go here to go. I said you got the you last just, word. You just said a moment ago that you don't think it's a big deal. You, I, no, no, hold on. You acknowledge that those rules being in place make sense to make sure that families like the one who are upset about what happened don't experience that kind of pain. So you are tacitly acknowledging that, that Trump should not have violated those rules. Do you right? think that do you think those rules should exist for uh, all of Arlington or just this particular section? You can look at the rules. There the rules are I just public. asked you, you a question. What does that I said should that rule exist for that section or all of Arlington? I, it's literally Rob, you can look up the rules. There's an art there's an Axios article I'll send it to you. I, I don't you give go. a shit what, listen 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 real quick. I don't give a shit what the rules are. Don't I'm you want saying to know what the rules are. No, I don't give a shit right now. What I give a shit right now is what? do you think Why? Because, because listen, care. listen to me. Because we're talking me and you and what we think morally should be the case and what these rules should be, right? That's what we're talking about. So I'm asking you, do you think these rules should apply to all of Arlington or just this one section? I think I don't know how I'm not familiar with Arlington. I don't know how I would do the rules okay. to make sure let me, that every let me be real quick. Let me, let me, let me, then let me, because you are incapable of answering this question, honestly, let me try to dumb it down because for you in a way that you can't. I, I don't uh, know do how you to think, answer the question, do you think, I don't know why. Okay, so I already asked you the hypothetical that you had answered before. So if my great, great grandfather is buried in a section of Arlington that was used in Joe Biden's 2020 campaign ad, and that would have pissed him off, are you equally outraged and think that Joe Biden should have violated Instead rules? Instead of dealing with hypotheticals, find me a person. What are you was... talking about? What are you talking about? Why does it You're matter if it... Me 
Why? Why Obama. does it matter? Why does it matter if I could find a person? Your point is the rules should exist because, because hypothetically that person could exist. Example. Oh, so one okay, of us has okay. A real example so of somebody who getting okay. Upset so about just this. so just and to be you're clear, giving me a hypothetical. Just to be there's, clear, there's no just to be clear, just to be clear. If it would turn out the person that said that's my family member in that gravestone there, and he would be upset if they were wrong. If that wasn't their gravestone, then you would say, oh, Trump did nothing wrong. Correct? Wait, no. You're not. What? Wait, what are you saying right now, Rob? It, it, it is that person's Holy headstone. fuck. Holy fuck. What if they were wrong? What if it was wrong? It, does, what? it, it doesn't what? matter. It doesn't matter because you already know right. that the that's rule, right. The that's rule, right. The rule exists for a good reason. Right. Right. There's the point. There's the point. And I said, oh, so then you would admit that good reason would exist even if it was other sections of Arlington. And then you of pivot course. back. Yes. That, okay. Thank you. Because what you did previously was you pivoted back and said, well, show me a person that was pissed off. Okay. Then I look forward to your post criticizing Joe Biden's 2020 campaign ad on Memorial Day where he was showing video of him in Arlington because those rules should exist because any of those gravestones featured there could have been a family members of people that don't appreciate Joe Biden. And you think that's equally egregious to what Trump did, correct? I don't know what kind of rules they have in place for the different What does it matter what the rules Arlington. are? You're saying that's what the because rules should be, right? The Arlington staff, they have their own photographers and those photographers took that video of Biden on that day in Arlington. They assigned oh. their own photographers to make sure that anybody who comes in there is in compliance with these rules to okay, avoid but situations wait, but wait like wait a minute, wait a, wait, a, wait a minute, wait a minute. So if a, so if an Arlington photograph would have occurred there with Trump and it would have included same picture, same gravestones included, but it was an official Arlington person, would that family would you not have empathized with that family the member that Ar said I'm the pissed? Arlington the Arlington staff would have framed the photo to make sure that the other headstone wasn't in the video, right? Bullshit. That's bullshit. The point you're missing. Bullshit. Bullshit. Wow, I can prove it. Look it up. You have no Okay, well then I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear. Your argument then is in the 2020 campaign ad of Joe Biden where we see a bunch of gravestones that the Arlington that staff, DOD staff Okay, that that DOD staff contacted the family yeah. of every single person uh, that's gravestone was shown to make sure they were okay with it. That's your argument. You're asking you're asking me to comment about something I'm not familiar with that section of the cemetery. Oh, but why why does it matter? In, you were, why does it matter? Somebody comes in to take a photo or video, it's DOD staff that does why it does to it, make sure they your argument is horseshit because it doesn't matter if you know I, what that particular you it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter reason. and you already agreed if that rule was there for good reason that just because it's a DOD staff that's taking the picture the good reason would be yeah. you don't want someone's gravestone in there that doesn't agree with the political message it doesn't matter if it's a Trump staffer or a DOD staffer taking it and the idea you're saying oh if it was a DOD staff they would make sure that there's no gravestones of anyone that might not be down with that political message is horseshit yeah that's yeah. bullshit no it's not Okay, so I just want, wait. I, we'll leave you going this. So if I, if there is a video, you don't have to agree, but if there is a video that was used in a campaign ad of Joe Biden around headstones in Arlington, your argument is, what you're telling me right now is that you know that the Arlington staff specifically contacted each family member of everyone whose gravestone no, was seen no, to make sure that no. they agreed with the political message of Joe Biden. I haven't seen this ad that you're talking about, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, but I'm positive that if I, were, if I were to find this ad, I'll bet you anything, none of the headstones have visible names. So what's it matter? You could know that that's your family's headstone? Because, what do you mean that doesn't matter? What do you mean that doesn't matter? If so, if you can't see the name of the headstone, but you're no, based on the headstone location, and everything, that that's your family member, you're not still, you don't have the right to be upset? It's not the same thing. If but oh, so you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. Does that family have the right no, to be upset? I, yes or no? No, I, I'm the uh, Rob. I'm the one that actually. That's what I thought. You can't answer. You rules. don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about the rules. You're only using this for political expediency, and you came in here okay, proving right. that by a conti by playing a game and saying you, you actually the rules there for you a good conceded reason. you, you conceded with that. you conceded that you didn't you give a shit agreed. about these gold star yeah. families, the and then you admitted that you did it as a game just because you didn't want to talk about what they had to say. Take it easy, Hutch. We'll see you. We'll see you, sir.